What's going on, everybody? Different type of video. Let's go talk about trim cards that are out there, which we have to be really, really careful about nowadays because there's so much with that original scandal of trim cards that was caught. There's even more now popping up. So when you're looking at any card that is being graded, make sure it looks right in the holder. And I'm going to show you why uh, on the card here. It's a Giannis um, Immaculate uh, Autograph Patch out of 99, the true RPA. Gem Mint 1010, graded by PSA. And I, I'm still like kind of in shock by this, how it even got through. It just makes no sense to me whatsoever. And I'm going to show you guys yeah, in a second. Let me pull this up. There we go. So this was on eBay. And somebody caught it because of the serial number onto it. Now look at this card right here. What do you see wrong with it? Can you tell it's been trimmed? I'm going to put my little mouse. See my mouse moving here? Look at that gap and how crooked it is going up. Let's pull it down some here. This is the original card right here. Notice there was a little bit of whiting on the side. Look at this one here on the right. This is the side of the PSA slab. On the right side, the card is flush. Left side, look at the gap right here. As we go down, it grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. Somebody trimmed that, and nobody caught it. You can tell by the gap. And if you come down here, picture on top of picture, see where it's kind of faded right there? It shows how it was basically trimmed and it was trimmed crooked, but it never got caught. Altered card that, you know, went through the system, nobody caught anything on it, 10-10, moved on. This is why I always say buy the card, not the grade, because the grade is subjective. As of now, I mean, this computer AI thing might change the whole game out there, but as of right now, you buy the card, don't buy the grade. When you're looking at graded cards, just because they've been graded by PSA, Beck, and STC, and so on, doesn't mean that the card is 100% still not altered, forged, whatever it may be. This here is just one great example of something that Giannis that was altered, was not caught, and, you know, by the grading company, and it's out there. And I'll just go back down. I just want you guys to look. Look at that gap down here. And you can tell the right side here is pretty much flush going down to where there shouldn't be that much like that. It's kind of crooked inside there. So realistically, a lot going on in the hobby anymore. I just want to be able to bring you guys this stuff here. So that you're aware when you're going to start buying into bigger stuff or, you know, trading up to get something PC that you don't waste your money and it comes back to the cards, you know, altered for somehow was messed up by a grading company. They didn't catch something. You know, these are quite the things that, you know, stand out. And for people that have been doing this for many years, they might not even see this. It's being able to have your mindset that prove to me that that card's real inside that case. If you can get that mentality that everything that you're looking at is a fake until you can prove that it's real, it'll start changing big time. And that's the way I've been through the years after I got hit with a few scams over time. Unless it comes out of a pack and I know it came out of a pack and stuff like that there, got it. But if I'm going to... um buy something i'm looking this stuff all over and i know a lot of people laugh because like on ebay auctions you'll see me with the little uh zoom feature i'm blowing the card up and i'm looking it all over even if it's, if it's been graded or not uh otherwise if i know somebody basically pulled that card or you know was in a break and got that card they graded it I'm fine with stuff like that there for the most part because I know those people there aren't going to go trim their cards. Uh, just, you know, it's just one of those things. I've 
known to people forever. Not saying not everybody can go bad at some point in time in their career or hobby part life. They can. But I just have more of a trust value with that stuff. Well, I figured I'd bring this up just to show you guys. This was something that was done uh, on blah forums. And I've seen these pictures circulating a while back. But since we've been hitting a lot of this stuff up, and it's, you know, talking about what to look for with the fake autos. Let's let's retap onto some trim card stuff just to get it fresh in everybody's mind onto it. So that way we're all on the lookout for that stuff. All right, everybody. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos here. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, please. We're on our way to 4,000. Once we do that, giveaway time. Top four type on that. Other than that, everybody, have a good week. I'll catch y'all later.